Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of A Lawyer Plays Dreamfall Chapters with me, Ryan the Gaming Lawyer. Uh, if you'll recall, last time we are in the world between worlds, and we're playing this little adorable girl who's looking for her pictures, and we spent a lot of time looking for them. Uh, now we've got four left. And I've been over the house a couple times. But every time I do a sweep, I find more that I've forgotten. Uh, there's none in there, she said. But, yeah, I keep finding stuff that I walked right past before. I feel like there's something going on over there. I might be able to... Like, under the stairs? Why can't I go into the room under the stairs? Where Harry Potter lives. And I open my cabinets. I know the thing now is to put... It's supposed to be to put away my drawings. But, now that I realize... Wherever they may be found is considered not... Is considered not put away. Even when they're prominently displayed on the wall as as That's art. That's where the Fae live. I've decorated the house for them. There we go. Okay, that was another April. Let me see. What was... The White Dragon. Alright, cool. Uh, the First Shift. Is that what that said? The First Shift? That's April. That almost looks like a... A screenshot where they have the pull-out view of the harbor. <laughs> like someone's drawing the ancient evil. Okay, that was the witch inside that tried to eat me. The witch inside the place. And that was the stone disc. The big city. Rolling man. Okay. Wait, what's... Can I close this now? Oh, that's where I left the key. Oh. I am making... Progress like a mofo in the, up in this place. My Hansi. creepy rabbit. He's my friend. Sometimes at night, he talks to me in a funny voice. That's creepy as hell. Open it. I need a key to open it. I have mm. the key. I wonder where I put that key. Check my updated goals. I bet there's a picture in the box. I don't know how it's not put away if it's in the box. But nevertheless. Yep. What was that? What was that one called? Remember we're Among the stars. Tomorrow? Who? I told you already, Uncle Gala. Oh yeah. Well, he's not my real uncle. Can't we go visit someone instead? You already know the answer to that question, Saga. It's not fair. I know it's not, and I'm sorry, but I need you to behave and be polite to Unc to Gala. All right? All right. <laughs> oh. A dire call from an 800 number. I think we can pass on that one. I already spent enough money on Christmas. I don't need to buy anything else or whatever they're doing. Alright. Alright, well, every time I make a pass here... Now there's two more. Two left. And I know where one of them is. Excuse me. One of them is up on top of the thing. Right up there that my dad can't... Oh, he's not at the... He's not at the sink anymore. Maybe he can help me now. Me and Papa get along most of the time. Except when he's tired or upset. It's all about his mood, huh? Hey, darling. Hey, Papa. What is it? It's a drawing I can't reach. All right. Lead the way. I'll give you a hand. Was there more than one? I didn't realize I could lead him around. How in the balance did that get up there? 
I don't know. The magic. Can you help me get it down? Of course. Magic. Come here, I'll give you a lift. Go on, stretch as far as you can. A little further. Got it? Got it. You uh, keep growing, you'll soon be able to reach that high on your own. Was Mama tall? Mama is tall. Taller than me. She could have... <sighs> Let me see that drawing. This is nice work, Saga. You're better than I ever was at your age. Who is this? That's Crow. Who's Crow? Oh, yeah. A talking bird. When's Mama coming home? Saga. Well, you said is, not was. Mama is tall. So when's Mama coming home? I honestly don't know if she ever will, sweetheart. But she is out oh. there somewhere? I think so. Okay, if she's out there, I'll find her and bring her home. I promise. Thanks for the <laughs> lift. You... Welcome. Wow, okay. So Mama's not dead, necessarily. Okay, got one more drawing. It's Papa looking at it. Just gotta make sure he's not paying some sly trick. Okay, this is a part where I'm editing up things a little bit because I spent way too much time looking for these pages. And, uh... So here's a nice little voiceover explaining why everything's chopped up and assuring you that there really was not much that you missed during this sequence. All right, I ran around the house a lot of times and that's really that's really all that you need to know. All right, so here we go. We found all the pages and we'll, we'll move on That's all the here. drawings. I'll tell Papa I'm finished. Yay, goals. We achieved goals. It only took us 20 minutes of, of recording time to find all those too. Between maybe 30 minutes, between the two episodes. Seems like I've been doing this forever. Already? Good job, darling. I'll help you with your homework and- My work. Your, work. your work, right. Your school work. I, I just have to finish up here. Finish Why don't you reading take the, the newspaper. To your room and put them in the right order. I'll be there soon. Oh my okay. lord, really? And put them in the right order? Put them where? Oh my gosh. Four, five, six. Okay, big city. I'm gonna say that's probably number one. Annual first shift. White dragon reborn. White dragon. Was this the first thing that happened? This is re relying on a very strong memory of the of the first game, but I think the first game started in a dream sequence, right? And then she woke up and oops, is that the one. Then April woke up in her room. Yeah, and then. Let's see, then she had her first shift. And... Then she met the rolling man. I think that's the end, isn't it? Among the stars. That looks like the end. Uh, I'm not sure on that one. Crow. I want to say she met Crow next. Ancient Evil, Stone Disc, White Dragon Reborn. Crow. Among the Stars, White Dragon. This would be the end. Stone Disc. Okay, I'm going to say Ancient Evil. I'm gonna say 
Oh my goodness. Is that the end or is that... I think... Okay. We're going to do this. Among the stars. It's probably... Stone disc. I don't think people. that's right. Oh, well that's nice at least. We got some of them in order. The Rolling Man... We meet Crow before the Rolling Man? Crow? The Rolling Man? I'm gonna do this order. Oops. White Dragon Reborn. This might be the end scene of the game. Whoa, there we go. What's going on now? All right, we got something done. <laughs> it was a long, it was somewhat entertaining, but at the same time, I feel like there were too many drawings to find. <laughs> that whole puzzle took us pretty much an entire episode. Between finding the paintings, finding the pictures, and putting it in order. That little sequence. I think I'm going to leave it all in, but... I know. There's a part of me that feels like... That took way too long that I should be heavily editing that last the last half hour of gameplay. Oh, we're in book three! Wait, we're still- we already were in book three, weren't we? Chapter s- okay, that was the interlude, so now we are officially in book three. This is Mercuria. Here's the... old tower thingy. It's Crow. It's Crow. We haven't seen Crow yet, have we? Oh, that's awesome. Just got, like, uh, I just got a chill. Where you going, buddy? <laughs> These guys up to? Oh, I'm cold, and hungry, and bored, and my butt's hurting, and I'm also thirsty. But hey, I'm not <laughs> complaining, this is fun. I like staring at buildings all night, every night, until my eyes start bleeding. Do you think Naane's been acting weird? I mean, she's always been a bit weird, but after she came back from Maria, actually, oh since you arrived, why is that? Have you noticed anything weird? Enu, please pay attention. <gasps> oh, what's there to pay attention to? We've been watching that building for a week now. Nothing is going on in there. I almost wish Liko was here instead of me. But any chance he has to avoid going on a mission with you, he'll take. I can't believe he's still upset you didn't kill that officer. I mean, we've gotten good information from him. Liko's just being a real poophead. He's upset about poophead. losing Old Town. Yeah, but what could we do? I mean, he decided he couldn't trust your information. That's not your fault. So, what else is going on with you? Hey, what happened with that woman, Anna? Didn't you and her have- I didn't. It wasn't. It was clearly a mistake telling you. You can trust me. I tell no secrets. Except to all my girlfriends, of course, when we get together over wine and- I'm kidding. <laughs> I have no friends, you know that. Aside from you guys. You guys are my best friends, and that's really sad. I'm depressed now. But she's pretty. Anna, I mean. Beautiful hair, striking freckles, nice scowl. She'd make a fine uh, companion. I'm not interested. Oh. Okay. So, uh, is there anyone at all that you're... Enu, I'm not interested in women. You're not what? interested in... Sure! Oh, I knew that. <laughs> a 
Of course, that's that's fine. Perfectly fine. So so who do you Look, something's happening. Oh Is yes, he... someone's Wait. leaving the house. He's, he's Call gay. in reinforcements. People leave that house every day, Kian. They arrive in the morning and leave at night. Almost like it's a real business of some sort. Doesn't look like a real business to me. You're too suspicious. Must be all that hanging around Azadi. What are you guys up to? Bip! <laughs> what in Shadow's name are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Oh, right. I have a message. It's from Ulvik. <clears throat> he says, come to the bar immediately. There's been developments. I don't oh, know right. what developments is, but Ulvik's face was frowny, so it's probably important. It, yeah, it always is. frowny. Good job, Bip. Let's not keep Ulvik waiting. I'll go first. We won't attract as much attention if we arrive separately. So that's Keon with hair now. I like him better with a little bit of hair. Gives him some character. Okay, so we're going to the rooster and kitten. Yeah, I like him with the beard and the hood now. Gives him a mysterious air. All right, so debating about what I should do about this episode. Should I should I record? Oh, what's that? Who said that? I say should I record extra long and cut out some of my stuff? Looking for those pictures because we're creeping up on. Uh, who's that person that cried out? Oh, that was a goat. I thought it was a person going. Like, Okay. Is this festival? Hold on. I'm going to look at that sign. What's this festival thing that's going on? They've put up ornaments all over town for the festival of reaping. Harvest season is important in the Northlands. Oh, so there's, is this sort of like a Oktoberfest thing going on? It's cool. But yeah, I think I am going to before I go into the tavern, it's probably a good time to, to uh, break the episode because we're creeping up on 30 minutes. I don't think I would th although I am concerned there was too much going on, too much uh, picture finding. Eh, that was, that was part of the game. It didn't go on. Oh, it did go on a long time, didn't it? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, well, okay, so you know what? And to compensate... I'm going to go ahead, because I know I'm going to get chatting and it's probably going to be a while. I'm going to do this sequence and then maybe I'm going to carve down some stuff later. So I'll record over. Yeah, alright. Done. It's done. That's what we're doing. Going to the rooster and the kit. A.K.A. The cock and ball. Which is the way, you know, the, the cock and... The cock and puss. <laughs> The rooster and kitten. The kitten was riding the... Never mind. Just noticed that picture. You see that gentleman sitting over there? Don't look, you simpletons. Balance. You lot don't know much about subterfuge, do you? That man's an Azadi mechanic. He drinks here most nights, but I didn't know that part until I overheard him speaking to his friend earlier about the pipes. Seems that with the pipe network up and running, there's a lot of tinkering to be done. Our man over there carries a tool to open maintenance hatches. If we can get inside a hatch... We can maybe figure out what they're using the pipes for. That's brilliant, Ulvik. So we slit his throat and dump him in the bay? Not in my bar, you won't. If they find out we've taken his tools, the information could turn out to be useless. No. We need to borrow his tools, open one of those pipes to have a look-see, and put the tools back before he notices. And that was probably what you were going to say when I interrupted you. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. If you can do it without him noticing, I won't stop you. But if the Azadi ever suspect that I'm collaborating with the Resistance... That will not happen, Ulvik. So what do we do, Kian? The others look to me for leadership now. It's important that I take charge and make the decisions. Alvik brought this to our attention. 
It's only fair that I include him in the decision. Yeah, like what that. What do you think, Alvik? Me? Well, I think you three are resourceful in uh, different ways. Instead of bickering about what to do, which is what usually happens, why not split up? There's every chance that one of you will come up with something that doesn't involve murder, the total destruction of my pub, or blowing my cover. I agree. We can't take too long. That man won't stay here forever. He's on his second drink. He usually doesn't leave until he's had at least three. And I can offer a few on the house to make him stay longer. It's decided then. We'll meet again here later this evening. Winner buys a round for everyone. No? No? It's not very motivating? Okay. Okay, goals. Let me look at my goals. Find some way to incapacitate the pipe maintenance worker. Can we slip something in his drink? Traditional Reap Moon snacks. Roasted apples, salted yams, sweet roots, pungent hmm. fermented snapjaw eggs. Oh. Some of that Have sounds you found anything good. yet? I'm working on it. Enu and Nico are still out looking. Sounds good. And you're not. You should get to it. I want to put something silly into his drink, okay? That would be my first choice. But I don't imagine... Oh, hey, hey guys. Alvik doesn't have the most sophisticated or upscale clientele. And I'm sure he's happy about that. Just regular patrons, just gonna... Not curious, just not the same without the magic ghetto. Shh. What? Well, take a look around you. Is this the best place to lament the loss of magicals? Well, we have lost something, haven't we? Is this town really better off without magicals? Black cock. To be honest. <laughs> Honesty is the quickest way <laughs> to the noose. Okay, what's he talking about? Ulvik told me once of the legend of the Onyx Cockerel, high king of all cocks. This proud <laughs> fowl came to the aid of its owner when he was set upon by rabid man-eating owls. Unfortunately, what? the poor cockadoodle was torn to shreds. Owls. What? Light. Sharks of the skies. Their thirst for human blood is legendary. Owls? Owls? Thirst for human blood Alvik is legendary? told me once of the legend of the onyx cockerel. Okay, that's enough of that. High king of all cocks. I do miss all This I proud think. fowl <laughs> king of all cocks. It was set upon by rabid man-eating owls. I think I smell magical. Unfortunately, the poor cockadoodle was torn to There is way too much happening here. Owls. Light. Something, haven't we? Sharks of the skies. Really better off without Their magicals. thirst for human blood is legendary. Wow, there is way too much happening right now. Everyone's talking and my phone is ringing. And we're over half hour. You know what? I'm going to call this an episode. It's probably time to you figure out. I think it's twice in this recording session that I've gotten calls from 800 numbers, which is normally just weird at ease. Like there's, because I'm a lawyer, there are all these weird services that aggressively try to sell me on jobs that aren't really jobs. It's like they're recruiting agencies that charge you money. Lots of money. And apparently don't. Anyway, they get, when I see 800 numbers, I normally think that's who it is. Even though I'm already working and I don't need it. Okay, whatever. I'm going to get off the phone. I'm going to get off the recording. We're going to call it an episode. <laughs> and, uh,. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me once again in another episode of The Lawyer Plays Dreamfall Chapters The Longest Journey. Me, Ryan the Gaming Lawyer, and until next time, hope everybody is doing well and take care. Bye-bye.